are amazing creatures. They grow, develop, and reproduce their own kind. In this video, you will learn how and why animals reproduce. Let us begin our lesson by identifying each pair of animals in 5 seconds. Most animals go through a certain process of reproduction which involves a male and a female. Reproduction is a process by which animals produce a young of their own kind or offspring. They undergo sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction involves reproductive cells or sex cells from two parents, male and female. Animals that reproduce sexually have reproductive organs that produce the reproductive cells. The female reproductive organ is called ovary, which produces the ovum, egg cell, or egg. The male reproductive organ is called testis, which produces the sperm cell or sperm. Reproduction is essential to the survival of each kind of animal. Animals that cannot reproduce will diminish in number until their kind becomes extinct. Animals such as dog, lion, tiger, cow, and horse are classified as mammals. They give birth to their young. They are called live breeders or viviparous animals. Viviparous animals produce living young instead of eggs from within the body. Mammals reproduce sexually through internal fertilization. Internal fertilization is a process of fertilization by which the egg cell is fertilized by a sperm inside the female's body. The female reproductive system has two main divisions, vagina and the uterus, which act as the receiver of the sperm, and the ovaries, which produce ova or female egg cells. Mammals are animals with mammary glands. Most mammals are live breeders, their mammary glands produce milk, which their babies feed on. The male mammal's reproductive system consists of testes, ducts, and penis. Mammals are of three types. Mammals like duck-billed platypus and spiny-skinned echidnas or anteaters lay eggs. These egg-laying mammals are called monotremes. They lay eggs from the same opening where they eliminate waste from their bodies. They have mammary glands but have no nipples. They sweat milk from fine pores of their mammary hairs on their belly. Marsupials are extremely unique mammals. 
They give birth to live undeveloped fetus. The fetus is as small as the size of a jelly bean. It is no hair, no ears, and is blind. Once born, the fetus climbs from the birth canal into its mother's pouch for its nourishment and protection. It stays there for about six months, which is long enough for it to survive outside the pouch on its own. Examples of marsupials are kangaroo, koala, and wallaby. All living mammals except monotremes and marsupials are classified as placental mammals. Placental mammals are mammals in which the developing baby is fed or nourished inside a female's womb through the mother's placenta. A placenta is an organ that develops inside the female's uterus during pregnancy. It is attached to the wall of the mother's uterus where the umbilical cord arises from it. It provides oxygen and nutrients to the developing baby and removes waste products from the baby's blood. The placenta is expelled from the mother's womb after the mother has given birth, usually about 5 to 30 minutes. So guys, if you want to learn more in science with Teacher Eva, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to keep you guys updated.